In this video, I will show you how you can find the radius of the inside of a curved wall. And I went ahead and drew everything out. I already have the center point. I know what this number needs to be. I know what the radius of this curve is. And that measurement is going to be 133 inches from the center point to the wall. And you can double check these measurements by simply locating the center point and then checking random sections to make sure that they're all the same measurement. If not, then you're not going to have a perfect curve. And if you don't have a perfect curve, then you're not going to get accurate results using this formula. So the first thing we're going to do will be to find the chord. And you can do this by going from the longest point possible or simply any point along the line. So I can go from here to here or I can go from here to over here and use those numbers in the formula. So this is the chord length here. And this needs to be a straight line. So you're going to need to use a reliable tape measure and straight edge, like a level, a long piece of straight lumber, or a chalk line. Then we're going to divide this number in half and then square off of it at a 90 degree angle. And you can use a framing square to draw that line. Simply line one edge up at the center point and the other edge along the straight line and then draw a line from here to here and then simply extend the line all the way to the wall. And we can do the same thing to extend the line out so that after we do have our measurement, we can mark the center point of the radius. Next up, let's take a look at the formula we're going to be using to find the radius. We're going to take half of the rise squared plus a quarter times the chord squared, and then we're going to divide that by the rise. And if you remember, our chord length was 17 feet, 2.5 inches. If we break that down into inches, we're going to have 206.5 inches. And since you either need to use feet or inches to make your calculations, we're going to use inches in this video. So we're going to end up with a rise height of 49 and an eighth inches or 49.125 inches. And for those of you who understand how to calculate the formula, great, there it is. And for those of you who need a little more help, just simply grab a calculator and walk yourself through the step-by-step -step process here. And if you come out with 133.066 inches, then you've done it correctly. And then feel free to enter your own numbers in to calculate the inside radius of a curved wall. And if you don't have the room for the longest line possible to represent your cord, you could always grab a six foot or an eight foot level or even a four foot level if you don't have the room or you have a small radius that you're going to be working with. And then simply grab a pencil and draw a line on the inside there and then grab those numbers to start your formula. So for example, if you have a four foot level and you can start off squaring that number, you're going to get 16. And in my opinion, using a starting measurement that might be 24 inches instead of 24 and a quarter inches might make your job a little bit easier. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.